In this episode, we'll look at soap's action as both a surfactant and an emulsifier. What gorgeous words. We'll use a plate, milk with some fat content, at least 2%, but this is whole milk, food coloring, a cotton swab, and soap. Fill the plate with milk, and then sprinkle several drops of different food colorings around, but do not mix it. It's pretty enough just as it is. But now we're gonna make some magic happen. Take the Q-tip, dip it in the soap, and watch carefully as I set this right in the middle of the milk. The first thing you see is the surface tension breaking. Milk is, after all, mostly water, and it's carrying a little bit of the color with it to the edge, but we're not done yet. Leave the Q-tip right in the middle of the milk, and you're gonna still see movement. What's going on? This movement is caused by the polar charge of the soap molecules. The tails of the soap are attracted to fat, and they are searching through the milk to find fat molecules to connect with but the heads of the soap are connected to water. They're attracted to water, and they're searching through the milk for water molecules to connect with. And while they're doing all of this searching, they're bumping along the color. And so you continue to see the movement of the color. I find this absolutely mesmerizing. This attraction between the soap and the fat and the soap and the water is what makes soap superbly able to clean. In the next episode, we'll be testing for water hardness. <laughs>